I guess I should probably introduce myself as so because nobody knows my name from the last video. Uh, my name is Caleb. Um, this is my house. We're sitting in the parlor and uh, I want to give you guys a brief breakdown of kind of what's the plan for the house. Like what are we planning on doing with everything here, you know, uh, with all the restoration and uh, things that have to be changed and things that have to be maintained and things that have to be restored. So. Uh, first off, let me just get this out there. This is not a renovation of this house. This is a complete restoration. This is not going to be a modern home in a Victorian shell. This is all going back to being a full-on Victorian home with period wallpaper, antiques, um, even the kitchen will be old. Um, everything we're doing here is about maintaining a almost museum like quality to this place, but something that you can, you know, that we're going to live in, of course. These parlors, for instance, these will never be modern living rooms. We're not putting TVs in here, where they're not going to be set up for anything like that, but they will definitely be great places to entertain because you can talk with one another and share a drink or, you know, maybe pull out a decanter and get crazy and pour some whiskey for everybody. But uh, that's the kind of vibe and feel we want here. We, we don't want these to be living rooms. They're not. They're parlors. Um, you know, the, the bathrooms will have antique fixtures. Um, I'm installing even, taking out the 20s tub that's up there in the second floor bathroom and reinstalling an actual 1880s bathtub. Um, so we want to be as authentic in everything as possible. Um, of course, there are cost concerns here and there with how much something costs and we'll have to weigh those as we get to those roads. But there might be something like, okay, the toilet up there needs to be the modern toilet right now because it's what I can afford until I can afford the more expensive high tank toilet or something like that. And there will be things that progress that way where it'll be not what I wanted at first, but it'll be livable. And then I'll be able to turn back the clock on it and make it the right way as time goes on. There are a few exceptions to the everything must be Victorian rule that we're going by here. Um, one of them is uh, the kitchen. Um, while the entire kitchen will be Victorian in essence, uh, we're making a slight um, caveat, if you will, that we're going to uh, allow us to have a um, 1920s style refrigerator and stove. And so yes, while it's not going to be Victorian, I don't want to cook with coal. I don't want to cook with wood. I don't want to install a smokestack in there. Uh, even though there's one in there, I don't, I don't want to do that into that area. So it's going to be an 1880s kitchen with some 1920s appliances. The third floor is going to be my master uh, bedroom and we will be adding a bathroom, um, a, a rather large bathroom, I suppose, at least by Victorian standards, not by modern standards. But, um, you know, I still do have to live in the home and so the bathroom will be a bit more modern and by a bit more modern, again, I'm talking probably 1920s, 1930s with a modern toilet. In the tour, we did find uh, some wallpaper up in the hallway, up in the stairwell. And um, that's something we actually do want to get reprinted. We do want to peel enough of it back away and put it back. Um, as far as I can tell, it is the original wallpaper. It's the one that's against the plaster on the wall. And if I can get enough of a piece of it off there, I want to go so far in restoring this house that I actually want to use original materials. And so that's something that we would really love to bring back into this house. Now, as you guys also saw on the tour, we were missing the newel post on the stairwell and the fireplaces here in the parlor. Uh, we're debating on what we want to do um, with those exactly. Um, as I mentioned there, we do have a, uh, we know a guy who has some of Mr. Brown's uh, tools from the Hall and Brown Machine Company, the original owner of their house. We would really love for him to build the newel post and possibly even the fireplaces for the parlors on Hall and Brown equipment because it, it just feels like it belongs to the house that it at least tells the story. You know, it's built with their stuff that they manufactured and uh, you know, maybe it's just kind of serendipitous to do it that way. Uh, also, it's same thing with the fretwork. There was fretwork above the parlor doors on all three sets of these, the pocket doors. And uh, that's something we want to replicate and replace as well because we know it was there. We can see it uh, where they was nailed in and everything and we really want to get everything back to the what it was. So we're just going to try to approximate exactly what it was best we can with books and knowledge and other things that we find, uh, photos of Victorian homes online, all of that, just trying to get back to where we were square one the day this house was built. I know a lot of people have been asking me, what's the timeline for a project like this? Um, since most of the interior work is actually gonna be done by myself, um, 
probably somewhere between three to five years is where we guess. Uh, a lot more of the exterior work will be done by professionals. Uh, of course, I'm no roofer. We've got the new roof. Um, you know, so, so there are elements of this that I can't handle and that I will hire, of course, professionals. But when it comes to, uh, you know, fixing plaster, uh, redoing the woodwork, uh, or just, you know, fixing small items, uh, refinishing the floors, those are all things that I am uh, well within uh, my, my capabilities to fix. So what to expect for the next few months is um, it's going to be slow going. Uh, I work a day job, you know, I work five days a week, you know, lots and lots of hours, basically 10 hours a day. Um, so it's hard to get out here. Uh, currently in the house, we, um, the power situation is kind of dire. Uh, we don't really have very much of it um, because a lot of the wiring is so out of date. I I'm scared to turn some of it on. Um, essentially, all we have going is a security system and a light here or there. Um, nothing to run power tools or any of that. So um, most of this journey will take a while. Um, you, probably things will start picking up towards March as I can get into the house and actually move in here and um, really get my foothold in this place so that I can devote every hour and minute that I have off from work here at this house, grinding, making this place work, getting this place ready uh, you know, for, for my family. For, uh, for the life that I plan on living here. Um, and, and for my kids and for the next generations who wanna use and love this house like I've used and loved this house. We, we had um, the water system because the pipes were so old, they were the original pipes to the street, we had to rip that out and get the water in. Um, now I'm sure some of you are like, why is he worried about the water when the power's not working, everything else? Uh, the reason is I'm trying to really get the heat on in this home. Uh, and as I showed you guys, we have the radiator system uh, and, and, a, and a boiler system. So we're really trying to get that on and to make that work, I need water. So uh, we're currently trying to get the water pulled over to the boiler so we can turn on the gas, get the bo <coughs> boiler going and get the heat on in this place. Uh, paint doesn't dry when it's cold. Plaster doesn't dry when it's cold. You can't do a whole lot except for demo when it's cold. So we're really working hard on that. Um, so that's one of the next steps. Uh, hopefully that happens uh, within the next two or three weeks, uh, at least fingers crossed. Uh, until that, you'll, you'll see more demo than anything. Also, the HVAC system. I know a lot of people were asked, how are we going to do that? Well, we're not going to drop any kind of soffits. We're not going to drop ceilings. We're not going to punch holes and things like that. What we will do is find the narrow duct system or a high velocity HVAC system and snake it through the walls. We'll have to lose a little bit of plaster here and there, but we'll be able to patch that um, and fix that. And that way we'll be able to get these small ducts in the walls and in the ceilings and without disrupting too much of how this place feels. We're trying to get the third floor done first. Uh, I do have some plumbing issues up there. Uh, basically the main issue being I don't have any up there. So I need to move some stacks around, um, potentially dig up a bit of the basement to do that. Um, so I can get a new pipe ran up there so I can run a new bathroom up there, uh, get it fitted out enough to where I can take a shower here, where I can use the restroom, where I can wash my hands. Um, and if it's warm up there and I've got a bathroom, I can buy a hot plate and I'll move right in the next day. <laughs> now we do have the new flat roof uh, put on. Uh, I'll insert a video of that somewhere in here. Um, so now that the flat roof is done and we've got most of the building watertight, or at least better than it was. Um, we are working on getting the mansard uh, done as well. Um, of course, this is a gigantic task. Uh, it has to be done absolutely correct because we know what the building looks like in that black and white photo. Um, and so I, I, whoever we hire has to put it back absolutely picture perfect to what it was in that 1896 photo. It, it has to have all of the wooden details. The corbel has to be, or a few of the corbels need to be remade. Uh, it's a lot of work. Um, all of the slate has to be replaced. Um, and, and we're trying to get the same pattern that was on the slate back to where it was as well. We do know the colors of it. They were gray and green. And so, and the dormers have to be completely replaced. Uh, they're falling apart. They're crooked, as you can see. And we need to get uh, that going so we can be fully watertight at least on the roof. Um, so that's a project we're really looking into. We're hoping to have it on before next year. Um, 
doesn't mean it's going to happen. Uh, it's a rather expensive thing. It's something I'm definitely going to have to finance um, because Slate's not cheap. The craftsmanship that is required to get that looking the way it did is, is not cheap. You have to have, find the right carpenters, the right builders, and people who actually care about bringing this place back. And sometimes that's hard to find within certain trades. And so we're working really hard to make sure that it is absolutely perfect to what it was back in the day because it's it's the crown and in a house this beautiful she deserves the correct crown you know no vinyl siding or, or, or architectural shingles it needs to be slight it needs to be done the right way um, just like the rest of this house so uh, we're hoping to get that back on here soon uh, hoping to get dried out the dormers rebuilt and everything back to the way it was and uh, a watertight, happy home. This place is also a place that we would really love to share with people. Uh, it's a place that I, I want to give tours to, that uh, uh, the two rooms will be available for Airbnb, so that it's not just something that I get to enjoy, it's not just something you get to enjoy through the lens, it's actually possible to come and visit this home at some point th further down the road. Okay guys, so that's pretty much the plan for what we're trying to do here, what we're trying to bring here. We don't wanna tear out any of this. We wanna make this a Victorian home again, not a modern uh, shell or not, not a modern interior inside of a Victorian shell. We don't wanna do that. You know, this isn't an HGTV show. We're really trying to bring back the character of this building and in the true essence of what it was when it was brand new, the day it was finished. And so, yeah, we, we hope that that's something you guys will enjoy seeing. I know it's different than a lot of um, channels on YouTube and what a lot of people want to do with their houses. Um, so it is something a little bit different. Uh, and I hope you guys will join us on our journey of, of making this home a beautiful, period-perfect Victorian home once again.